What happens if you're cruising along through carnivore and fasting and then you suddenly get sick? Is that the death toll of this thing? Is it gonna fall apart? Let's check it out today on Big Anklevich on health. This week, I was very sick. And I've been doing this for 11 weeks, cruising along, feeling great. But when stress comes along, something like being sick, what happens? Do you give in to your cravings? Do you give up? Well, we'll check it out. Uh, today is Monday, August 21st, 2023, and this is my report for week 12 of my journey to Wonderland using beef, butter, bacon, and eggs carnivore. And this week, I'm doing one meal a day fasting. Let's go head over to the daily reports and see how I did. It is Monday and I got myself some Lancet so I was able to get some numbers this morning. My ketones are at 1.9 which is so-so, it's not terrible. My blood sugar has gone up a little bit though, it's up at 91 which makes my Dr. Boz ratio a 47, a little bit high. I want to get it under 40 but not there yet. So uh working on that i guess um feeling sick today my sinuses are, are all stuffed up and my throat is sore and I'm starting to even feel some burning in my lungs i'm not sure uh, what kind of a cold i've got but i decided that i would let it um you know heal a little bit so i didn't go for a walk this morning i just kind of hung around and i also decided that i would do one meal a day instead of alternate day fasting. So I warmed up some of my ground beef that I cooked and I had that for my meal today. And uh, that's it, I'm just gonna eat that, a uh, big bowl of it. And then um, tomorrow I'll eat again. So uh, for the rest of the day, I'll just be fasting and hopefully uh, my sickness will go away. It'll be one of those 24 hour kind of things. Although if it's 24 hours, it's only got like six hours left. So let's hope. But <laughs> anyways, uh, I'll talk to you more about it tomorrow. Hey, everybody. It is Tuesday. As you can tell from my backdrop, I am not in my car because I did not go to work today. Because you can probably also tell from my voice that I am very sick now. <laughs> I was a little sick yesterday. My voice was starting to go even then, but yikes. Today, I am super sick. Last night was really tough to try and sleep. I had a really hard time. I slept on the couch. I came out because my nose was really stuffed up, so I came out and slept more kind of sitting up, or at least raised up a little bit, trying to, uh, uh, you know, get my my sinuses to drain to not be so stuffed up. I did manage to get some sleep, so there was that. But uh, yeah, it, it's been rough this whole day. Uh, I didn't do my numbers right away when I woke up in the morning. I just kept trying to sleep because <laughs> I was tired and I kind of slept in and out. And eventually I got hungry. So I came out, I warmed up some of the ground beef that I had from the other day. And I started to eat it, and then I said, hey, you know what, I should probably go check my numbers. Usually I get them way earlier than when I got them today, but who knows? So I went and I did my numbers, and I got a 2.4 for my ketones, and a 108 for my blood sugar. I'm not too surprised, because, you know, we talk about the Dawn Effect thing, and usually your blood sugar will raise... Uh, after you get up and get going for a while and then it'll settle back down later so it's probably that I don't know but the ketones are pretty good and putting those together that got me a 45 for my Dr. Boz ratio that's pretty good uh, once I finished doing that I went back to my ground beef and I ate most of it I couldn't eat all of it. I was eating and eating and eating, and then I just kind of got to the point where it, didn't, it, it wasn't desirable anymore. It wasn't tasting good. It's like Anthony Chafee says, eat meat until it doesn't taste good, and then you stop. And so that's what I did. Uh, I 
I stopped there. I put the last little bit in the fridge and I suspected that might be all that I ate today, but instead, uh, sometime around like four o'clock or so, I decided, you know what, I think I'm ready to eat something more. I wasn't gonna do any fasting, any, you know, depriving myself while I'm sick. I wanted to make sure that my body has everything it needs to beat this virus or bacteria or whatever the heck I got. Get rid of it, get it out of here. So I uh, cooked up some eggs and bacon. I got my uh, my pasture-raised eggs that I got the other day. Check, check these things out, look at that. Look at how orange the yolks are on those things. They're so, look so good. I mean, you can see the butter, the melted butter around there. That's just yellow. But the eggs are so orange, they're so full of vitamins and yum yum. So I cooked those up and some bacon. The weird thing was, the whole time that I was eating them, they tasted really salty to me, even the bacon. The bacon tasted really salty, it didn't taste that way to me before when I had it the other day, so I don't know if that's something about, you know, me being sick or me not wanting much salt. You know, I think uh, your body will tell you to eat less salt if you're low on salt and eat more salt if you need salt. And maybe I'm just, I don't need it right now. I don't know. I didn't, I wasn't able to finish all the eggs. They were just too salty for me. So I quit and put them back in the fridge. And I guess I'll try them again later and see if I'm still overwhelmed by how salty they are. If I overdid it or something. But uh, yeah, so that's where I'm at. <laughs> Uh, hoping that by tomorrow I'll feel better, or at least close to better, a lot, you know, along the way. I uh, didn't go running today because obviously I'm just totally wasted <laughs> with this sickness, so missing another day. We'll have to see uh, how what that does to me. Um, but yeah, uh, I'll talk to you tomorrow. We'll see if I'm better. Okay, it is Wednesday, and I'm doing a lot better now. Uh, I'm still not perfect. My voice is still kind of off, you can probably tell, and my nose is still a little stuffy, um, but I'm feeling a lot better, uh, which is good, because <laughs> i got to get back to work. I'm sure that place is not happy dealing without me, because I'm the only uh, guy that's supposed to be there at night, and uh, they're probably hating it because <laughs> they all gotta adjust their schedules to deal with it um but yeah today I got up I didn't uh, wait as long to get around to doing my numbers so I checked my ketones they were at 2.0 and my blood sugar it was still a little high it was up at 99 so that meant my Dr. Boz ratio was a 49 so it's not terrible, but it's still not where I want it to be. But, you know, I, I suppose at this point in time, I don't really need to worry too much about it. I just need to get myself back to, uh, you know, 100%. And once I get there, then I can start worrying a little more about uh, what kind of Dr. Boz ratio I have. Um, maybe that would be a different story if I was going to be like this for a long time. But, you know, I'm on my way. Probably a day or two more and then I can... I can start thinking about uh, trying to consider a fast or, or something like that. Um, but yeah, so uh, I had my breakfast this morning and what I decided to have was just leftovers from yesterday. So I got what was left of the bacon and eggs that I didn't finish yesterday, the ones that were a little too salty for me. Today, they weren't quite as bad. They were still a little salty though, but uh, they were fine. I was able to get through them. It was only like three or four pieces of bacon that were left and, and a little bit of eggs. So I had that, and then I had what was left of the ground beef as well. Uh, there was uh, even less of that. There was hardly any of it really. And so I ate that uh, pretty quickly and I was good for most of the day, sometime around three or four o'clock is when I finally decided, okay, I want to eat something else. And the funny thing is when you're homesick and you're bored, I think being bored is the real problem. It's the real thing to watch out for. I don't know if you ever saw the thing when you were a kid, they had this PSA that I used to always see called the munchies. When you're feeling bored or blue, watch out for the munchies. They find ways of making you munch when you're not hungry. Here, munch this. Here, munch that. Here, 
watch that. Soon you have to sport your back. Yeah, it was all about being uh, bored, watching out for being bored. And if you're if you let yourself get bored, then you're gonna wind up eating, and then you're gonna be fat. <laughs> and it's legit. It is true. I was bored all day long, and I was just thinking, man, gosh, I wish I could do anything else. I'm so bored. Um, and I wanted food to entertain me. I wanted something that tasted f special. You know, I kept sitting there going, what can I have? Jeez, I don't want more ground beef. That's all I've had. Uh, you know, I've got tons of tons of it in the fridge. Uh, I cooked a whole bunch of it. Uh, and it's just in there waiting to be used. Um, but I didn't want that. I wanted something, something else. Something fancy. And the bacon and eggs that I have, that turned out to not work out because it was too salty. And I didn't want, you know, it was just like, come on, I want, I want some kind of treat. Um, luckily I didn't succumb to that. I did happen to find that I had a steak still waiting to go in the fridge. And I'm like, eh, that probably counts. I'll have that as a treat. That'll, that'll make me feel special. And so I cooked that up on the barbecue. Turned out really well. It was pretty darn tasty. And I enjoyed it. I don't know. It, it, it might have been tastier. Was I not sick with the stuffed up nose? Because it's harder to taste things as well when your sinuses are all uh, congested, but uh, it was good. It's, I guess it satisfied me enough that I, I stopped uh, itching for, for something like that. So that was good. Um, it's always good to be prepared. Uh, so have some steak standing by just in case. Uh, so yeah, that's what I did today. Um, done a lot of sitting around, no walking, no running, no none of that. Just resting and recuperating and uh we'll see tomorrow i suspect i'll be going back to work and we'll see uh how i do there and i'll try and figure out what i'm gonna do for the rest of the week will i do a fast do i just do the one meal a day for the rest of the time or just keep eating two meals or more a day like i have been so far this week <laughs> i don't know we shall see. Maybe I'll just keep eating. I don't know. I'll talk to you guys about it when we find out. Hey, everybody. It is... What day is it? Is it Thursday? It's Thursday. I've been too long in the pit of despair. Um, it is Thursday, and I'm back at work. Uh, I'm feeling a lot better. I'm not 100%. I can I still got some stuffiness in my nose and stuff like that. But I'm doing okay. And I'm feeling good enough to get back to work and uh, that is nice. So I got up this morning and I checked my numbers. My blood sugar was at 88, which is down a decent amount, but my ketones are at 1.5, which is also down. So that left my Dr. Boz ratio at a 58, which is up. It's higher than I want it to be. I need to get it down. Um, I can probably start to think about how I might do that. I don't know. We'll see. Uh, one meal a day is what I did today. So maybe that can help bring uh, the ketones up. I don't know. We'll see. Uh, I had a uh, pound of bacon and six lovely pasture-raised eggs. And they were wonderful. Ate them all. And that's all I've had today. Uh, I didn't do any running or anything like that. I'm kind of worried as to just how crap my fitness is going to be. Um, how much it'll set me back. Uh, probably be okay, because i still got months to go before I have to be all the way there. Um, but if this keeps up, this kind of stuff, I missed a week just a little while ago, and now I'm missing another week because of this. Uh, hopefully I can at least start running by Saturday. We'll see how it goes. Anyways, um, yeah, I'm not going to eat any more today, so uh, that's it for me for now. I guess I'll talk to you more about uh, what's going on tomorrow, which I'm pretty sure is Friday, although I could not, I could be off. I don't, I'm lost. Okay, it is Friday, and Friday's supposed to be a good day, but I don't know. I'm not feeling it today. I woke up way too early this morning and I tried to go back to sleep for like more than an hour and it just wouldn't work. And I think I maybe finally went to sleep maybe like 10 minutes before I was supposed to wake up. It's just a, 
really an annoying morning. Uh, when I got around to doing my numbers, they were crap. I did my ketones, my ketones were 1.0. Not particularly good. Uh, my blood sugar was up at 92, which makes my Dr. Boz ratio 92. Uh, that's super high, way higher than I've had for <clears throat> quite a while. Um, not since a couple of weeks ago when I had really bad ketones, uh, worse than what I had today. But I think I might have an idea of what the ketones problem might be. I have been... I guess, uh, cheating a little bit. Not really cheating, but um, I've had a couple bites here and there of uh, the lunch meat that we have. We have like some ham uh, that we have for making sandwiches for my son for, for going to school, stuff like that. And that stuff's got extra ingredients in it. I don't know, it's got some uh, stuff to cure it and Maybe it doesn't. I don't know what all it has, but I know it's got to have, it's at least got, you know, a little bit of sugar in it. They don't have lots of sugar in, in it, but they have some. And uh, for the most part, I'm eating stuff that doesn't have that. And so eating this, I think, might be what's killing my ketones. That, and I've also had a little bit of pepperoni. My son <laughs> loves making pizza sandwiches, he calls me. He puts cheese and ham and pepperoni into his sandwich. And he loves to eat that. Um, so we've had pepperoni and I keep eating some of those. And I think they might also be part of the problem. Uh, sadly, I did a little bit of that again today. So I'll probably have low ketones again tomorrow. I don't know. We'll see. Um, uh, on top of that, I was... I don't know if it was because I was kind of mad that my numbers were low. Or my numbers being low made me feel like this. Uh, but... I felt like eating something other than what I had. I looked at the ground beef that I had in the fridge and I was not interested in it for some reason. So I went to the store and I bought myself a tube of sausage, uh, like breakfast sausage, you know, your regular old little tube of breakfast sausage. And I fried that up into a bunch of little sausage patties and then I cooked four eggs and that's what I had for my meal. I just had the one meal today like I did yesterday. We'll see how that goes. Um, will that help get my blood sugar down, my ketones back up? I don't know. But uh, I think uh, coming up here soon, it may be time to stress my metabolism a little bit better. Uh, my sickness is kind of going away. I think by Monday of uh, next week, I'll be able to start into something new. We'll see how that goes. But for the rest of the day, I won't be eating. But I'll be here at work, enjoying that. Uh, it's funny, I had a couple days off and I got bored enough that I started missing work. And now that the days are gone, I'm, I'm missing home. <laughs> Although I don't miss being as sick as I was during those days. So it's better to not be sick. So, All right, I'll talk to you guys about tomorrow. Tomorrow. Okay, it is Saturday, and uh, my numbers this morning are lame, like they have been. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, my ketones were 1.1, which is still over 1, so there is that. Uh, my blood sugar was 80, which, that, I mean, that's a good blood sugar. I can't complain about that. But you put those together, and my Dr. Boz ratio is a 72, which is a lot higher than I want it to be. Need to get it down lower so that I can get into that autophagy range. That's what I'm after. It's somewhere near 40. Um, so I'm gonna have to do something. I I'm super lame um, because yesterday I think it was, <laughs> if I remember right, I was talking about how it was probably because I had had uh, pepperonis and stuff, um, ham that was causing my uh, ketosis my ketones to come down because those things have a little bit of sugar and stuff in them and uh, so my plan for today was that I would not do that and I specifically set out to not do that and I got up and I got out the ground beef that I had 
in the fridge. And I was just going to eat that and only that. I've had two gigantic containers of it in there of ground beef that I cooked up because it was on sale a little while back. And so I bought extra and cooked up a bunch. And then I also found that there was a container that had some ground beef that was uh, cooked up with taco seasoning in it. And for some reason, I thought it would be a good idea. Oh, I'll get some of the taco seasoning meat and I'll mix it in with my regular ground beef and make it a little bit more tastier. And that's what I ate. <laughs> I'm sure that's going to bite me tomorrow. My ketones are probably going to be lower. Uh, it was dumb. I probably shouldn't have done it, especially if I'm specifically trying to get them back up. But um, I don't know. Um, anyways... I did also go for a walk this morning, so that's the first time I've gone uh, out and tried to do some exercise since I was sick, and I did just fine. Uh, I felt good the whole time, and so I think I'm going to try running tomorrow. We'll have to see how that goes. Hopefully that can go good. Uh, my nose is still kind of stuffy and stuff here and there, so am I all the way, you know, healed yet, or am I still a little sick? I guess uh, we'll see how it goes tomorrow, but that'll I'll tell you about that tomorrow. Oh, in fact, hey, here comes Big Anklevich to tell you about tomorrow. Okay, it is Sunday, and it was not a good day for the numbers. I did my numbers today, and my ketones came out at a <gasps> 0 0.7. Yeah. That's that's as low as it's been in, I don't know, forever, pretty much since I started checking my numbers. They were right around that when I started, so not good. Um, my blood sugar was fine, same as yesterday, it was an 80, but that gives me a Dr. Boz ratio of, <coughs> oh, yeah, 114. <coughs> um... Yeah, that's that's uh, definitely that's that's like a June number, and here we are, mid August. So, I got to do something to get my ketones up because uh, dividing by less than one <laughs> is a sure way to uh, give you a crappy Dr. Boz ratio. Um, but that's okay. I, I'm on my way. Um, one good thing now that I've uh, basically worked my way through being sick is that I went running this morning. I got up and went out as early as I could this morning because it's supposed to be the hottest day of the whole year. Um, but I got out there by around 7 in the morning and I ran and today was a big day. I was supposed to run 60 minutes, um, which is 10 minutes more than any other time that I've run. But I did fine. I got out there and, uh, and I ran and I did well. Um... I was able to run the whole time. My time was not fast, but I ran all the way through just fine. Uh, <laughs> my my pace, my per mile pace just keeps getting lower. Uh, this time around, it was 16.35 per mile, which that's like a minute and a half lower than I want it to be. I want to be somewhere around 15 at least, so I can get, you know, four miles in in an hour. Um, so yeah, we'll, uh, we'll see what happens with that. Um, hopefully I can uh, work on that and get that up next week. I got to run 70 minutes and the week after that, I got to run a friggin' 10 K. So, uh, we'll see how it goes. I did get this little thing. It's my longest run. Uh, it didn't bother to even give me anything about it being a 5 K. <laughs> say like this is your third fastest 5k or anything like that it just I guess had pity on me oh the, the best I probably could have got was this was another 5k but uh <laughs> but anyways yeah once I got home I had myself some breakfast um I had bacon and eggs and so six eggs pound of bacon good stuff those those uh, pasture eggs, raised eggs are just great. And then later in the day, I had a uh, bowl of ground beef at about three something. And then I started my fast. And I will be on my fast until uh, Tuesday. So 
So we'll see if that does something for my ketones. Hopefully, maybe I need to do a couple of weeks or more doing uh, alternate day fasting. So I can get those to be always up. I don't know. We'll send it back to Big Ankovich. He can tell you how the week finished out. Okay, so there you go. That's how I did. I uh, had some troubles, I have to admit, as you might expect uh, when I am sick. I'm still slightly sick. I can still feel it a little bit up in my nose. I've still got a little bit of congestion going on from that. But I'm feeling pretty good physically. And, <laughs> uh, you know, I, I, I'm mostly over it. And I had nearly as much uh, frustration from just having low ketones the whole time. Started out trying to do one meal a day fasting, and after a while I did two meals a day, and then I did one meal, it was back and forth. I just gave up on one meal a day and just thought, okay, well, I'll eat as much as I need to, which I think is a good idea when you have something like this. Just eat as much as you need to of the stuff that you should eat. Eat carnivore as much as you need to, and you won't be hungry and you won't be tempted nearly as much. There were a few times when I was tempted to eat stuff that I didn't think was going to help me. Just, you know, simple stuff. Stuff that's even still carnivore, like pork rinds or something like that. But I'm trying to do beef, butter, bacon, and eggs. I'm trying to keep it really pure. And as we saw during the week, I had a little bit of trouble. I had pepperoni. I had uh, lunch meat, ham. And I think that that stuff caused me issues. So uh, I would have been better off had I been stuffing my craw with more beef, with more bacon, with more eggs, more butter. <laughs> but, uh, but yeah, that, uh, I think it worked out pretty well this week. So how did I do? Well, as you can see from the uh, scale, this is what I was at last week, 265.3. When I got on the scale today, yeah, there you go. The average of my weight for this week was 261.9, which means that I'm down 3.4 pounds this week. And the funny thing is, you know, you might think, oh yeah, well you were sick and you're probably just gonna gain that all right back. And I, I guess that could still be true because um, that kind of stuff does kind of happen when you're sick, but the weird thing about it was, you know, I weigh myself every day and then average that out. And uh, my weight tends to be kind of up and down all over the place during a week. This week it was not. It was the highest at the very start of the week and it trended down the entire week. So it's possible that I may actually be at this weight and at this weight to stay, which is pretty cool. That means that I've made it to 27.9 pounds lost during this whole endeavor, which is uh, pretty exciting. But it's not even the most important thing to me. As I've said, you know, I say this week in and week out, what matters most is regaining my health. Um, the number on the scale can change from week to week. It can, it can go up and down. And if you focus everything on that you can get pretty uh, upset sometimes when it fails when it goes back up instead of staying down stuff like that but there are some things that uh, can give you an idea of whether that's an issue or not for example um, I've been saying for a long time that uh, I've been taking notches been going down notches on my belt uh, let me show you. This <clears throat> is the belt that I've been wearing all this time. Okay. Uh, you can't really tell from this. Let me do this. Okay. When I started this process, you can see this notch right here is kind of uh, a well-worn one. That's what I was on, the second notch. That's what I had to keep my belt on to keep my pants up. Well, I am now all the way down here to the fifth notch. 
That's what I do to keep my pants up. But the funny thing is, I don't even need a belt to keep my pants up anymore because these pants I don't wear anymore. These are the ones that I used to wear. Look at how much space there is in these things. I could, I could uh, use it as a baby Bjorn, just stick a, <laughs> stick a whole toddler fit inside there with me. Not a whole extra me, but you know, 27 pounds I lost. They're big enough, as you can see, that I had to get new ones. I don't wear these at all anymore. So as you can see, I, yeah, I got all new shorts and they're small enough that I can fit my other shorts over the top of them. That's right. That is the difference you can make in just a few months with the carnivore diet and a good fasting regimen. Something like alternate day fasting, one meal a day, switching around on those, making sure that you keep an eye on your ketones so that they're high and that you're losing weight the way you should be. Uh, that's the way it's been going for me and, I, and, and I'm pretty excited. It's really working out. It's been a good week for me. I lost 3.4 pounds. That's one of those great weeks. Last week, I lost uh, less than two, but week after week after week, things are getting better and I'm uh, moving in the right direction. And even with my ketones low this week, I still did good. I'm gonna bring them up next week. I've already started alternate day fasting for this week. That's what we're gonna do this week is alternate day fasting. So here we are on day one of that and I'm about 24 hours fasted and uh, it's going great and I'm feeling good and I'm gonna keep going. We're gonna get this train uh, a rolling. <laughs> so um, there you go. All right. Uh, thanks for watching, everybody. I will see you guys again next week with another report on how things are going here on Big Anklevich on health.